Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and today I'm going to be reviewing And I Darken by Kirsten White. This review is going to be entirely spoiler free, so if you haven't read this book, you're completely safe. This book is essentially a gender swapped Vlad the Impaler story, so it is historical fiction and fantasy all wrapped into one. I've been a fan of Kirsten's for a long time, and so when I found out that she was doing this book, I was very excited about it, but didn't really know what to expect. I myself wasn't very familiar with Vlad the Impaler, I just assumed that he, you know, impaled people and such. So I was interested to see exactly exactly what this book would do with that and where exactly it would go. From the very first page, you're thrust into a world that is very different from our own. The people speak a more guttural tongue and there is a bloodthirsty royal family in power. Here we are introduced to our main characters, the siblings Lada and Radu, their asshole of a father and the cruelty of their older brother, the crown prince. Until this one, I had never read a book set in the Ottoman Empire, so the setting was very intriguing. Of course, we have to talk about our fierce main characters. Lada is possibly one of the most spirited, fierce, brutal female characters I've ever read. Naturally, I loved her. <laughs> then there's sweet, kind-hearted Radu, her younger brother. As children, they are united by their desperation to be loved by their cold and absent father. They're mistreated by their family, and so they stick closer together. You can see very early on that Radu really loves his sister, and while Lada doesn't necessarily love him back, they still have a very deep connection and this want to protect each other. You usually only see siblings that either love each other or hate each other, but this was a completely different dynamic because they help each other survive. As for the writing style, it was fast-paced and captivating. This time period is one that I'm not familiar with at all, and the author does a fantastic job of giving us insight into that world without ever making it feel boring or dumping too much information on us. When the two of them are older and they're taken as political captives, you see the big differences between the place where Lada was born and all of the new religions and customs that she is sort of forced into. You see her struggle during a time when women's rights were pretty much non-existent. And then there's Radu's very different approach to survival. While Lada is fierce and angry all the time and starts fights, Radu is a much more calm, charming sort of person who would much rather talk his way out of a situation than fight. But he still has a lot of struggles himself, including his religion and his sexuality. The two of them are so different, but they complement each other so well. That isn't to say that they don't have conflicts, major ones at that. They basically fall in love with the same man. I usually hate, hate, hate love triangles, and while this is still a love triangle, I didn't hate it as much as I usually do. It was done really well. What I love about this book is that it isn't just one thing. It's an epic, sweeping historical fiction. It's feminist as the day is long. It's diverse. It's about the strange and unpredictable dynamic in a family. It's about politics. I think this has a little bit of something for everyone. Because we start off following our main characters at such a young age, you really see every minute change in them as they grow and they take their own separate paths. This is something that's heavily explored in this book, the idea that you can make your own choices. For Lada, this is difficult because she is a woman and she is more ignored than respected. For Radu, it is because he is struggling to find a place where he fits, both in the realms of religion and sexuality. Religion is also something that I feel like isn't discussed enough in YA. People just feel weird about it, it's a bit of a taboo, so I really loved seeing it represented and discussed in this book. I love the characters, I love the world. I really, really loved this book. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. That ending has me begging for a sequel, y'all. So that is it for all my thoughts on And I Darken by Kirsten White. You guys should let me know down below if you have read this book and what you thought of it. If you guys liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. I post new videos twice a week. If you guys like to follow me on Twitter or any of my social medias, I will leave the links to those in the description box below as always. But most of all, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!